Good morning, 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 everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Grace Amber. I come on different platforms whenever God gives me a word to share. I come on and I share it with you. So really quick this morning, happy Tuesday. I want to talk to you really, really quick this morning from the topic of the plank in our eye, the plank in our eye. What am I talking about today? Let's jump in. So turn with me in your Bibles to Matthew, the seventh chapter. I'm going to read from the first to the fifth uh, verses. I'm reading from the NIV. And it reads, do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And then, but let me stop right here real quick. Because there is a, a scripture in Luke. Um, that everybody loves to quote, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom, right? So what people don't realize, now most people take that and apply it to giving like money or giving gifts. And you know, there are many scriptures in the Bible that you can take and apply to um, a number of circumstances and situations uh, and areas in your life, right? But what people don't really notice about that that scripture in the context is talking about how you judge others. So when it's talking about giving, it shall be given unto you. It's talking about, it was at that context of that scripture was actually talking about how you judge others. And with the measure that you judge others is the same measure that you're going to be given. Good measure, uh, press down, shaking together and running over, right? So let's get back to the scripture. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. I said I want to talk to you today from the topic of the plank in our eye. So, uh, I think it was Sunday night. I'm sure y'all can relate, those of you who work Monday through Friday. You know, the weekend, the work week goes really slow, um, typically, way longer than the weekend. Of course, there's more days in the work week. But it seems like the work week goes so slow. And then when you finally get some days off on the weekend... It's like it goes just like that really, really fast. So Sunday night, I was dreading like, oh, God, I got to go back to work. And I got to work with this one. And I got to work with that one. And, you know, sometimes just replaying what happened on the last week. Um, and just not looking forward to going back to work. And, and for some of you, that might be some people. It might be the opposite. You got some people whose life at home is so, is so hellish that they rather be at work. They hate to come home. And in my circumstance, I hate to go to work. But the Bible says you don't work, you don't eat, right? So Sunday night, I was dreading uh, getting up in the morning and going to work on Monday morning. And then the Holy Spirit said, you're difficult to deal with too. So a lot of times we will look at what everybody else does and not saying those aren't valid things. Um, and you hear me talking about the situations where uh, God will put us in, where we are yoked with people who can be difficult to deal with, people who do things to irritate you, people who do things to aggravate you, people who sometimes get under your skin, right? And it makes it difficult to persevere through those situations because it's easy for us to just look at them all the time and say, you know, this coworker does this, this supervisor does that. Um, this client does this, or, you know, you go home, my husband does this, or every time I come home, my wife does this. Every time I come home, my husband and pissed on the toilet seat and didn't put it up. And, you know, it's always something to look at with everybody else. And it makes us not want to continue in that situation because we focus on what everybody else does that we don't like. But here is something to help us as we try to endure through these situations that don't always feel good and can sometimes be quite aggravating, to be to be honest. Uh, something for us to think about is that we might not be difficult to deal with in those situations, but we too are difficult to deal with, right? So your supervisor on your job might be difficult to deal with, and on your job, you might be easy to deal with. But when you go home, your spouse is easy to deal with, but you're difficult to deal with. So... 
we are all tolerating each other. You are not just at work tolerating your supervisor and her supervisor and his supervisor and your coworkers. Yeah, you got to tolerate them, but it's good for us to remember that somebody is tolerating us. And so while we look at these situations and sometimes we want to quit and we want to leave and just say, you know what? I don't even want to go back to work no more. I'm just going to find me another job. Yeah, well, God gave you that job and it's a blessing and he has you there for a reason. As you're trying to stick it out on that job, in that business venture, in your church relationships, in your personal relationships, remember that while they may be difficult to deal with and while others may be difficult to deal with, I am certain that if there was a survey done on everybody who deals with you, somebody would testify that you too can be difficult to deal with. So the scripture says, do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. As we get in these situations and we deal with difficult people, remember that we too have planks in our eye. I want to give you one more Bible story, a very popular Bible story um, about the woman who was caught in adultery. John 8, I'm going to give you the first through the ninth verses. This is the King James Version. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. Not the man. It takes two to tango, right? They brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Forget the man, right? Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. So they trying to get Jesus to say something so that they could turn around and use it against him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, he that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. We all can be difficult to deal with. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so as God puts us in these situations and he has us there for a season, as we are trying to persevere and endure and stay put as God has, has put us someplace and we're trying to stay put, but it gets difficult because of the difficult people that we deal with. It's important for us to remember that we too have a plank in our own eye and we too can be difficult at times. So just like we tolerate other people, Trust and believe somebody is tolerating us. I love you. I hope that word blessed you today. Happy Tuesday. I'm Grace Amber. I'll be right back on tomorrow with another word. Good Lord willing.